Texas never trailed. Knocks off number five, Georgia, 28-21. Holding the Bulldogs to 72 yards rushing. Here's Holly with Coach Herman. Coach, it wasn't just that you won this game, but it was how you won this game with a physical brand of football. What did you see out there as you guys dominated that Georgia team? Well, we pride ourselves in our physicality. That's, you know, at this point in our program, that's how we're going to win games. That's always how we're going to win games. Uh, and I'm just so proud of how hard our guys played. Uh, they played hard early. They played hard late. They overcame some adversity. Uh, and just, uh, it was a complete team effort. It was also an aggressive effort. You went for it on fourth and goal. You had aggressive calls. What was your mindset trying to get this win? Well, our number one goal coming to New Orleans uh, to participate in the Sugar Bowl was to win the game. And uh, we, we weren't just happy being here. We were, we were going to win the game. We were going to do everything it took to win it. For 26 seniors who've had to buy into you to go out with 10 wins, how does that lay a foundation for your tenure at Texas? Well, I, I, again, I will, I will tell you, they are going to go down um, as the most influential senior class, uh, certainly in our tenure here, uh, because of uh, the, the culture that they have instilled, the culture uh, that they have upheld as well, and uh, that locker room. Uh, has finally become a player-led team instead of a coach-fed team. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Four years as a head coach, two at Houston, two at Texas. And hasn't lost a bowl game yet. Here's Holly with Sam Ellinger. What a night for him. 169 through the air and 64 and three touchdowns on the ground. Well, three rushing touchdowns for Sam Ellinger. You broke Vince Young's rushing touchdown record that was set back in 2004. What does that mean to you that you did it on the ground in a physical way? It's incredible. Um, you know, up, up front, we did an excellent job all night in the running game. I think we had close to 200 yards rushing, and that's against a really, really, really good defense. And I'm just so proud of the guys up front and the way our defense played. For you guys, you've still got so many young players that can come back next year. How does this build a foundation for you moving forward? Oh, it's huge. I think last year that winning the Texas Bowl gave us a little momentum heading into the offseason, um, knowing that we could we could beat teams um, when we play our best, and we just beat an elite team. So I'm really excited for next year. You know us in the media. We like to blow stuff out of proportion, but the number, t the second ranked uh, or second place Big 12 team beat the second place SEC team. What does that mean to you? I, got, I don't know. I think that uh, we came out and played well today. I'm not going to I'm not going to make any statements. Obviously, the SEC is an incredible conference and uh, um, I'm just very excited. Congratulations on a win. Thank you very much. Thank you. you would think he'll be a little sore. Yeah, he took some shots tonight, but made big plays all night long when his team needed them. The trophy presentation and the Ford post game still to come here on ESPN right after these messages. The Ford Post Game is brought to you by the Ford F-150. It doesn't just raise the bar, it is the bar.